Hello, and thanks for watching this Website Tool Tester video tutorial. We'll show you today how you can install a fresh copy of WordPress on One.com's server. Luckily, the days where you needed to use FTP applications and create MySQL databases to install WordPress have come to an end. This process wasn't straightforward, and beginners would often struggle with it. Nowadays, almost every provider offers an easy-to-install WordPress tool, and One.com isn't an exception here. Before I show you how to install WordPress, let me first make a couple of comments about One.com. This way, you'll know what they offer and what to expect from their services. This hosting company offers a simple product that allows you to host your WordPress site. Although they don't offer all the features that a professional WordPress developer may need, they have a solid product for small to medium-sized projects. Additionally, One.com has servers both in Europe and the U.S. to accommodate your site best. But its biggest advantage? The price. We haven't found a cheaper hosting service with similar performance levels yet. In addition to WordPress, they have an integrated website builder. So, if you find WordPress too difficult, you can simply switch to their drag-and-drop editor. Enough about that. Now, let's take a look at the one-click WordPress installation, step-by-step. -step. Log in to your One.com account. Now you're in the control panel, which lets you manage the account. Look for the WordPress one-click installation section and click on it. The upper section allows you to do WordPress installs, while underneath you can manage those installations. To begin the installation process, we need to press New Installation. We are taken to a new screen, where we need to choose some parameters. First of all, we select the language of our installation, English in our case. The next step is to decide where our WordPress site will be installed. Normally, you'll want it to be in the domain root, yourproject.com, for example. But perhaps you'd like to set it up in a subdomain. For example, you may need a blog and want it to be at blog.yourproject.com. But as I said, normally you'll opt for the root domain, and this is what we're going to do now. So let's click Install and let the magic happen. After a few seconds, you'll be redirected back to the one-click WordPress installation screen. As you can see, your WordPress installation has now been added. We need to complete the process, and for that we need to visit the website's URL and configure WordPress. We'll be directed to this WordPress dialog. Firstly, we need to choose a language, English in this example. We now hit Continue. Next, we have to define our site title the username that will give you admin access to the backend, and a password for it. Our recommendation is to stay away from obvious usernames, such as admin and weak passwords. This will make your site more secure. Now add an email address. Finally, you have to decide whether you want search engines like Google or Bing to index your site. As we most certainly want our new installation to be indexed by search engines, we don't tick this option. We only need to click on Install WordPress to finalize the process. Now we're done. Your WordPress website is ready for you to add your content. Clicking here, you can access the back end of your WordPress site where you enter the username and password that you previously defined. You also should have received a confirmation email with the installation details. If you visit the URL of your site, you'll see demo content being displayed. Bit by bit, you can now add your own content. One.com can be trialed, free, for 14 days. The next logical step would be to get a theme that suits your needs and install it on your WordPress site. You can check this video for a detailed step-by-step -step tutorial. Leave us a message if you have any questions, and good luck with your WordPress project. If you found this video useful, we'd appreciate it if you could leave us a like. Thanks for watching, and see you soon.